it has been absolutely freezing the last couple days here in the state of Utah. Uh, so we're gonna make this video quick. We're gonna talk a little bit about my rooftop tent on my stock factory rails. And then we're gonna go back inside where it's nice and warm and talk about the details a little bit more. Let's go take a look. One misconception I hear pretty frequently is that you need a very fancy roof rack system in order to hold a rooftop tent. Now one of the most common questions I get is, well, what roof rack system do I have up on the roof? And it's really quite simple. It is just the factory roof rails and crossbars, as you can see. On the Toyota Sequoia, the factory rails and crossbars are rated for a dynamic load of 150 pounds, which is plenty for our rooftop tent and actually most rooftop tents out there. So now that we're back inside, I want to talk a little bit about uh, this misconception that you need an aftermarket roof rack in order to run a rooftop tent. So our Yakima Skyrise two-person tent, to be fair, is on the lower end of the weight scale when it comes to rooftop tents at only right around maybe 100 pounds or so. Uh, whereas a lot of other tents are uh, you know, designed for more people and are also heavier. However, what I saw is most of the popular tents that I've seen on the internet still come under 150 pounds. Now you'll have to do the research for yourself. You'll have to look up your own vehicle and see what the weight rating is for the stock roof rails and crossbars on your own vehicle, and then compare that to whatever tent you're wanting to run. But I think for most people, it's going to be just fine. Now, unfortunately, this misconception that you need an aftermarket roof rack in order to run a rooftop tent is really kind of an expensive misconception, if you ask me. Companies like Frontrunner and Gobi, although they make outstanding products, very high quality products, um, they're very expensive. A full length roof rack from Gobi for the Toyota Sequoia costs about $1,600. Uh, which is really not a reasonable amount of money for someone to pay who's just in this on a budget. For us, $1,600 is far less than acceptable for what we wanted to accomplish. We really wanted the, you know, the convenience, the comfort, the quick setup time that you get with the rooftop tent. Um, and we wanted to get into all that at a relatively low price. That's why the Yakima stood out to us. It was an inexpensive tent for what it was, and it made a lot of sense for us to make sure that we could run it on our stock rails uh, so that we could avoid dishing out a ton of money for an expensive roof rack setup. So for those of you out there who are curious, for those of you who've asked me, I, I hope this answers your question, and hopefully uh, this will save you some money in the long run. Now with that, as we go into the winter months, uh, there's probably going to be a lot less in the way of trip videos. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is answer a lot of the commonly asked questions that I get. I get, you know, several questions every, every week about the Sequoia, about our overlanding setup, the, the equipment that we use, the tires and wheels, all that stuff. I'm wanting to answer all sorts of questions regarding those topics that you guys have. So uh, feel free to go ahead and drop a comment below or reach out on Instagram, uh, reach out with your questions, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get around to answering those in the form of a video. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.